Geometry number 194, radius of an inscribed circle. Let's take a look at this picture. We have an equilateral triangle with an inscribed circle, and you can see Q is the center point, and QZ is the radius, okay? This AZ is the altitude. The radius is one-third of the altitude. See? Here's one-third, here's one-third, and here's one-third. So that's our theorem, okay? The theorem says the length of the radius of a circle inscribed in an equilateral triangle is one-third of the length of the altitude of the triangle. That means if a circle is inscribed inside of an equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle, the radius of that circle is one-third the length of the height of the triangle. Okay, so this is the radius. It's one-third the height of the entire line AZ which is the height of the triangle, the altitude of the triangle. Inscribed and circumscribed shapes maintain the relationships to their auxiliary lines. Okay? So just because it's in here doesn't mean that it's not a radius anymore. It's still a radius. So the altitude, AZ, right here, is the square root of 3 over 2 multiplied by the length of any side in an equilateral triangle. Make sure you realize it says equilateral. Okay, so that means the altitude is square root of 3 over 2 times AB or BC or AC, any one of these because it's an equilateral triangle, all the sides of the, are equal to each other. All three sides are the same. That's how you find the altitude. That is our theorem about the radius being one-third of the altitude. I hope this helps you do a proof, and I'll see you next video. If you've been watching my videos, you've noticed that I've got third grade math, which I am now finished with, which I'm sure you'll be happy to hear. So now we're going to stick with the geometry until we're finished. And we almost are. So stay with me. I'll see you next video.